Hey guys, thanks for joining me today and welcome back. So today I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to create an adorable, easy to make fluffy bunny rabbit. This is going to be great for springtime decor. This is great for Easter decor. You can use this as a door wreath if you like. So I'm going to get started. So I'm going to start with this bunny rabbit form. This is a plywood form that I picked up from the craft store. They have these at Dollar Tree and you can also find these at Michael's. I picked up some chenille yarn. It's extra thick and fluffy and I picked this up from the sewing center near my home. So you definitely can find this anywhere guys online. So that to hold this all in place, I'm going to be using my clear gel Aileen's tacky glue. I'm going to be using my paintbrush and I'm going to be using my scissors. So I'm going to start with the bunny rabbit ear that's pointing straight up. That's going to be the easiest way to illustrate how easy this is. So applying a little bit of the Aileen's clear tacky gel glue, I'm going to put some on and spread it nice and thin. Once it's nice and thin, I'm going to start applying the chenille yarn and I'm simply going to just wrap the chenille yarn around the ear of the rabbit. You have to make sure that your glue is spread nice and thin and also you want to tap a little bit along the sides so that the yarn can stick to the sides as well. If you wanted to, you can apply some of the clear glue on the back of the rabbit form as well. But for this video, I think I'm just going to start by placing it on one side. So once you get up to the area where there is no glue, just reapply your glue. And if you watch how I'm doing it, and then I'm gonna spread it out really thin and I'm making sure my brush touches the sides of the form as well because we want the yarn to adhere to the sides. You're going to have less slipping and just simply just keep wrapping it very closely to each other. If you see that your yarn is separating, you can use your fingers or just use any object just to make sure that you push them close together. That's going to help a lot. Another thing I didn't mention, if you wanted to, you could paint the rabbit white, a thin sheer coating of white paint will help also disguise any of the brown plywood that's uh, showing. But I don't think you need to do that. Just make sure that your glue is on, it's spread thin, and that you're tapping the sides of the form just to make sure, again, that your yarn is going to adhere. I do find sometimes with these forms that when you're wrapping yarn around them, it gets a little tricky if the form is bent like this side of the rabbit ear. So you have to work slowly and just make sure that your yarn is together and that there are no spaces in between. As I'm wrapping it, I'm making sure that it's pulled semi-tight. You don't want to flatten out the yarn because the yarn is nice and fluffy, but you want to make sure that they're close together as well. So as it gets close to the edge here, I'm just going to make sure that there's enough glue on there just so that the yarn can lay flat, making sure that they lay close together. So I'm just using a little pinching motion there just to make sure that the yarn is adhering properly. And I'm just going to lay that last bit over the opening and I'm going to cut that away. And so now we have the ears, they're done. So now I'm going to start working on our bunny rabbit face. And so I'm spreading the glue on really thin. And as you can see again, I'm tapping the sides. That's going to help a lot that's going to help prevent a lot of slipping. And as you can see, this is so easy to do, really easy to do guys. 
to just add a little bit of glue. And what I did here, I flipped it over. And I'm going to apply a little bit of glue on the other side as well because this part of the form is really wide and I don't want excess slipping in the back. So I'm using my tweezers there, my plastic tweezers, just to make sure that that stays in place. So I'm just going to be flipping it back and forth so that you can see that the yarn is laying nice and flat and laying close to each other as well. See at any time you're wrapping this around that you can see the space in between the yarn. Just simply just use your finger, you can use your nail, you can use the back of a tweezer just simply just slide it back up into place. The tacky glue is still damp, so you will be able to move the yarn back up into place. I love the white chenille yarn. It's really optic white guys and it's so fluffy looking. But I did see that they have like a light beige color yarn. So if you wanted your rabbit to be sort of like bunny rabbit brown, you definitely can can do that. Um, you use a brown yarn and you know it's gonna come out really nice. So I'm just gonna quickly just go down to the feet of our rabbit. I'm going to do the feet separately because I want them to look defined. Um, with this method and so once again um, I tell you whenever your shape is going to be not round or square you're going to have to really work at making sure that the yarn is laying very close together as you can see I have to push mine back into place and I'm using my plastic tweezers again just to make sure everything is aligned and the foot is going to look well defined and I'm flipping it over because it should look just as neat in the back of the rabbit as it does in the front. And with that same method, I'm just cutting off the last little bit and just applying it to the edge and pinching it together so it'll adhere nice and neatly. And as you can see, I moved on. I finished the second foot. I just did the same thing. And now I'm just going to finish this up. And so to give our bunny rabbit a nice puffy stomach, I'm going to uh, wrap it this way, guys. I'm going to start at the top edge and I'm going to go down around the bottom so that it could create a roundness. This is going to give a roundness look. So yeah, this is going to give it that nice plump belly. And I'm just going to keep doing it till I get to the center of that space. And I'm going to use my last piece of yarn, press it in there, make any corrections that need to be made. If they look like they're separating from each other, you want to just push them close together again. That's it, guys. And I'm going to just kind of press that in there. Use my tweezers. You can use any tool you like. You can use a popsicle stick if you want it. And I'm going to cut that extra bit of yarn away. And guys, look how beautiful. Now it's still damp. I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm going to allow it to dry for a couple of hours. And then I'm going to come back in later and start to decorate. Okay guys, so I'm going to keep my decoration very simple and springtime looking. So I'm going to be using this detail ribbon that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use a beige color and a 
golden yellow color and I'm just going to just cut off enough just to create a loopy bow and so this is how I'm going to create my bow today I'm just going to take the two uh, ribbons put them together just to create a pretty detail and I'm just going to hot glue both ends together this is the part that's going to be the loop on our bow and I'm going to do the same thing here I'm just cutting off just enough just to create a loopy bow. Also, I'm going to be adding the ends of the bow as well. So after I cut that out, guys, I'm gonna hot glue them. Just a little tiny bit of glue you wanna place on the yarn. And I'm going to hot glue the ends of the ribbon together as well. This is going to complete the look of the bow. And I'm going to go in and just tap a little bit of glue there, cause you don't need much for the ribbon to stick to. And this is the other end of my bow. And this is going to be the loopy bow. Here I'm just going to just trim off the ends of the ribbon just to give it a pretty look. Also I'm going to add this beautiful flower in the center. You can use this as a door wreath guys if you wanted to. Just hot glue some ribbon at the top of the ears. I'm going to use this fluffy key ring that I picked up from my dollar store. This actually costs 75 cents. This is the key ring part. I'm gonna, I don't need that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue onto the, and now the fluffy part becomes the tail for our bunny rabbit. So right now I'm just going to add a little bit of greenery around the rose. The rose looks so beautiful. And as you can see here guys, I did add a little bit of a pearl in the center and a little bit of dangle pearl in the inside. This is just in time for Easter and just in time for spring. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. So guys, please let me know what you think in the comments section. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and please don't forget to subscribe. You stay well, stay safe and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.